Productions back with a brand new video and today we're going to be talking about the recent release WWE Superstars and this one sparked a lot of controversy because if y'all remember a while back you know a lot of WWE wrestlers were released by the company due to budget cuts and apparently just now this is still going on it's just sick to me how you bring these wrestlers from NXT and then you wash them up without ever to no development in the main roster. They pretty much ask for a release or they just pretty much fire them right off the spot. And I think the worst thing they can do, and I don't know if y'all remember a while back when they released Mickey James without no reason. And then you brought back um, Eva Marie, who cannot wrestle, just nothing but looks, and that's it. Looks, but no talent. And this has been happening since forever. It sickens me to know that Vince McMahon, he only cares about money, but not talent. I'm telling you, once they get on some type of podcast on YouTube or radio show, they're going to end up exposing the WWE. Pretty much how John Moxley did when he exposed well Vince McMahon with this whole Roman Reigns Kansas situation, and he wanted him to turn heel right after Roman Reigns got diagnosed with leukemia. If y'all remember that, imagine one of these superstars, former WWE superstars, going into these podcasts and exposing these people right off the bat. I'm calling it. There have been rumors that more cuts were coming to WWE. And unfortunately, that has been proven true. A number of stars in WWE have been notified of the release and they are reacting to the news on social media. I figured nothing has been made official by WWE as of yet. But so far, those releases include Scarlett Frankly, Monet, Keith Lee, Nia Jax, Karen Cross, um, Oni Loken. Lord King, Eva Marie, and Amber Moon. Now, a few things that I agree that I don't agree with. Starting with um, um, Eva Marie, I can understand why they released her. You brought her back for no reason. She has no talent. She's nothing but looks. She trash, and she has no business being back in the WWE. That's all I gotta say. Nia Jax, on the other hand, I can't say I'm not surprised, but. She had it coming because she's known for injuring and possibly almost killing wrestlers in the ring. And if y'all remember a while back, the way she almost broke Baker Lynch's nose, aka the man's nose, almost injuring one of the NXT wrestlers or Raw wrestlers because of how botchy she's becoming. And let's just say this is not a surprise to me because Nia Jax has been a danger to work with in the ring and outside the ring. But in the ring, she seems like she's a safe to work with, but we all know the reality of it is that she pretty much is a danger to work with because of the way she botches every single wrestling move without even taking precautions. And whether she's taking accountability for those things or not, I don't think she's gonna do it, and that's why she's gone. And as far as like Keith Lee goes, um, I can't say I care about him because I don't even watch his matches that much from NXT all the way to the main roster. And you know, I don't even watch Raw, it's not done like that anymore, especially if I watch the full show. Only time I do it is when I react to highlights on YouTube, and that's it. As far as like watching the whole show all together, especially Raw. It sucks. There was rumors about him turning heel and him being suspended over some stuff he did. Almost getting killed by COVID-19. Like, it's just a bunch of stuff going on with Keith Lee and all the other wrestlers in the WWE. And this is nowhere near surprising me that they do something stupid like this. As far as Ember Moon goes, she basically had talent in NXT. And she made an incredible debut like from Raw after Mania. Now, I liked the character in the beginning, but the way they unutilize her is terrible. So I just don't understand this. 
and it's crazy to me to know that me being a WWE fan for years, I would have think that at some point they need to just chill out on these releases because when you think about it, they really don't know how to work with these talents. And this is thrown in the show just that. Scarlett was the first to announce the news, ran it on Twitter officially free to work in 30 days. Meanwhile, Moon wrote, all I can say, I mean, all I can do is laugh. Well, that's what they said. I sometimes think that the company just don't care about what these employees have to say or their feelings. They just expect them to understand just like that. No, because if you're releasing me without apparent reason whatsoever and I'm supposed to understand the right decision, no. I mean, I don't care if it's just a business. Like, you gotta at least tell me something and give me a reason why I'm being fired or released. Face man, like, how you. you uh -uh. Mona hadn't even received, I mean, really received her big push yet after coming to NXT from Impact, though she did have one big match against Raquel Gonzalez. Alright, you know it's hard for me to pronounce these words because. Oh lord, I hate Raymond. I really do. But well, Gonzalez. Scarlett is even more puzzling as she was partnering up with her real life fiance, uh, Karen Cross, and NXT's massive success. And since her move to Raw, she hasn't been seen. Well, even though she hasn't been, you know, on Raw, no development, no. As far as how she looks, she looks more like a porn star than a wrestler. That's what they believe stuff, so well, you guys know what I'm talking about. As for what happens next, Scarlett mentioned a 30 day non non compete, and Mona's contract is probably similar. It's unknown if Moon is still on her previous WWE deal or still on an NXT deal. It was later revealed that WWE also released Arnie Logan. I mean, Jesus Christ, I man, what is with these stupid names I can't pronounce? I hate doing this. Arnie Lorcan, yeah, um, Arnie Lorcan, one half of a tag team in NXT with Danny, uh, Danny Birch, and it wasn't too long ago that they both held the NXT tag, um, tag team titles. No word if Bunch is also affected. We did learn of even more cuts with WWE release Jeep, Jeep Rama and Katrina Cortez, Trey, okay, this is so many names, Trey Baxter, Zedair Remainer, uh, JC Kama, and Hit Rose and Big Fat. The biggest shocker was that Karen Cross has been released, who just moved from NXT to Raw and not too long ago. We also saw Me Talk release, so all of uh, Lucha House Party is now gone. As uh, uh, Liz Dorano has also been released. Me Talk has requested his release from WWE earlier this year. Okay, I get that, he's requested it. But as far as like you firing other people, it's weird. Another wave of releases follow later, which include Nia Jax, Keith Lee, Harry Smith, and Maya Yim. That was followed by release of Eva Marie. We wish, yeah, whatever. Let's be clear here. The WWE sucks. They release these wrestlers for no reason. And I can understand a few reasons why they fired Nia Jax and Eva Marie. Those two suck. It's the truth. They, they just can't wrestle. But as far as like, you know, Karen Cross, you brought a man from the NXT to Raw with no development, just wasted time with them. And it really goes to show you that the WWE, they're famous for doing this. They suck, they have no business releasing these people like that. And it's obvious to me that Vince McMahon has clearly lost his touch. Or I can think of one person who is responsible for this, Tony Khan. This is all he's doing. And that's why a lot of people are going to stop watching Raw and SmackDown altogether due to Vince McMahon's nonsense. And I'm telling y'all, something tells me that this company is going to go out of business if they keep with this nonsense. I'm telling you, 
you ain't gonna have no more roster on your hands anytime soon if you keep doing this. And that's why people, you know what I'm saying? That's why people prefer AEW over WWE. I mean, it is really obvious. So comment down below, what are y'all thoughts on this release? It's, it's just, this is ridiculous. This is nuts, man. Y'all enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're wondering why I'm talking with this microphone, because that way y'all can hear me better. So yeah, shout out to five below. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'll jump next video.